Welcome back to Hoochos. Today on Hoochos, I'm gonna be reviewing and par testing this. This is the Medic Grow Fold 800 full spectrum LED bar grow light. This grow light represents an excellent value, high output and highly efficient grow light offering from Medic Grow. Okay, so the guys at Medic Grow have sent me out this. This is the Fold 800. It is an 800 watt grow light and I'm quite excited to review it because right above me, this is the Spectrum X and it powers my entire green wall or studio wall behind me. And it does so rather effortlessly. So let's have a look inside the box. First of all, discrete packaging. So it comes with all of this stuff. This is actually a 10 foot power cord, which I am quite happy about. This is underrated. <laughs> uh, Australian adapter or an American adapter. Hanging cords, user manual and the light itself. These light companies are getting really good at minimizing the footprint of their lights so they don't have to post as large of a package. This is actually a rather nice design. Oh, have a go at that. That is, it's really light. It's all aluminium. This is lovely. Okay, so as you can see, it's quite a large light. And before we set it up over the PAR test area, I just want to discuss some of the features of this light. So this is the Medic Grow Fold 800. It is a full spectrum foldable LED bar fixture. The eight bars house 72 pieces of Osram red LEDs and 3,300 pieces of San Am white LEDs spread across the 3,000 and 5,000 K spectrum. And the driver is Medic Grow's USP 856B. At 279 US dollars, this LED grow light actually provides a lot of bang for its buck. However, it does not include a dimmer. The dimming is actually controlled by a separate control unit. I don't really think that this is gonna be a problem for most growers as most people will be using this light at full power for most of their grow, but that is something to take into consideration. The recommended coverage is a four x four or a five x five area. And the claimed efficacy is 2.6 micromoles per joule with the claimed PPF at 2,080 micromoles per second. So the two PAR maps on the website are hung at 12 and 24 inches. So I'm gonna hang this at 12 inches over my test area and we can test the output of this light. All right, so this is a four by four test area and I'm hanging the light at, we're gonna go up to 12 inches. Oh, she's bright. So the light's been running for quite a while now um, and I'm gonna check the temperatures. So on the outside bars, 44 degrees Celsius, 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and on the driver itself, it's actually pretty cool, 41 degrees Celsius and 106 degrees Fahrenheit. So the light is running fairly cool, which is a good thing. On the wall, 790 watts. All right, so I'll put the palm map up on the screen here. As you can see, it's a really nice, even distribution of PPFD, and it's spread over quite a large area as well. I don't have any problem saying that this would easily handle a five by five. So the average across that palm map was uh, 1,244. We then times that by the area, which is 1200 by 1200 or four by four foot. Uh, so 1.44 meters squared, which gives us 1,791. And we divide that by the watt draw, which was 790 at the wall. And that gives us an efficacy of 2.3. Now, 
That's 0.3 under the claimed efficacy, but that is a really good efficacy for such a cheap light. Uh, I think this is, what was it, 290? What was it? 280 US dollars. This is an incredibly good value light. This presents a really good price point for those people that just want a light that outputs as much as possible for the lowest price. So I'll leave a link in the description to where you can pick up this light. Thank you to MedicGrow for sending it out. Happy hydroponicking, and I will see you next time on Who Chose. Thank you.